West. This is Creme 2 News, first at 5. Well, tonight we begin a continuing series of reports on the Northwest energy crisis and how it affects you. It is called Running on Empty. Creme 2's Tim Gordon now live at the Monoville Power Administration to explain just why the energy crisis has some Kaiser workers feeling their jobs are on the line. That's right, Charles Nadine. You know, through this BPA substation, a whole lot of electricity flows. It flows through the grid. We're going to show you right there. And it flows to a very big customer, Kaiser's Mead Aluminum Smelter. Of course, it usually happens, but it's not happening right now. Kaiser is selling off its large allotment of power through October. It's what happens after that that had Kaiser workers out rallying in downtown Spokane today. You see, the BPA is pushing for a two-year shutdown of the Northwest aluminum industry. The BPA says that would allow for affordable power for the rest of us. But Kaiser workers say making aluminum is so important not only to them personally, but the, to the entire region economically, that a two-year shutdown is a terrible idea. It's going to be a tremendous impact on the Pacific Northwest. And, you know, I think that uh, I think the shock of it all will come too late it is a sad part of it. And the BPA, for its part, says that this is the worst drought conditions they've seen in 70 years. And, of course, it relies on hydroelectric power. They say this is really the only alternative that they can see that will help all of us and also protect the aluminum industry in the long term. Reporting live in North Spokane, Tim Gordon, Creme 2 News. And Kaiser Aluminum's mead plant is shut down. It may be years, not just months, before it opens back up again. I'm Tim Gordon. We'll have a live report on what workers think about all that next. Creme 2 News at 6. Coverage you can count on. For the Inland Northwest, this is Creme 2 News at 6. A once powerful industry in the Inland Northwest has been shut down by the energy crisis. And now workers are rallying to say it's bad business for everyone if the shutdown continues. Creme 2's Tim Gordon is live at the Kaiser Mead plant with the story. Tim? Yeah, the smelters have been shut down out here, of course, for months. And they aren't expected to fire back up until October. And that's only if Kaiser does not go along with a plan to keep these smelters and others in the Pacific Northwest shut down for the next two years. We're trying to save our jobs. These people are afraid of losing their livelihoods. So they held their signs and waved to drivers in downtown Spokane, <laughs> especially those who responded. It shows acknowledgement that they're paying attention. These people really want the Bonneville Power Administration to take notice that the BPA plan to buy back power and keep aluminum smelters shut down for the next two years would be crippling. Uh, my name is Randy Sakal. I work at Kaiser Mead, and we're here to save our jobs today. Um, we feel that BPA is treating the aluminum industry in the Pacific Northwest very unfairly. The BPA says the plan will keep energy prices from skyrocketing in the short term and will allow the aluminum industry to survive in the long term. These folks don't buy it. Both sides need to sit down and come to reasonable terms and, and try to, to come to some conclusion that will work for everybody. And they mean everybody. These workers say the economic impact of the aluminum industry stretches far beyond its 7,500 workers. And I don't think we can afford to give that up. I mean, who are we going to rely on buying our aluminum from overseas? I mean, you know, we can't continue to run jobs out of the United States. And the more than a million dollar question is, uh, what does Kaiser think about all this? They say that they are against a two-year shutdown there in the business of producing aluminum and they want to get back to work there. They say that they are negotiating with the BPA to figure out a different solution. And ironically, they support their workers' protest today. Live at the meat plant, Tim Gordon, Creme 2 News. You're watching Q6, your local news station. Q6 local news at 6 starts now. Kaiser workers hit the streets trying to get Governor Gary Locke to notice them and help save their jobs. Q6 local news reporter Greg Heister tells us why they staged this protest. Greg? Dan, earlier today about 50 Kaiser employees picketed outside the Spokane Club where Governor Locke was speaking. because the BPA wants to shut down Kaiser and buy their electricity for up to two years. That would put almost 2,000 people out of jobs and has Kaiser employees angry. Angry because they believe there are better ways to conserve energy. They feel the BPA should consider these other options before shutting down the smelters. We, we hope that there's, there's other alternatives than just shutting down a whole segment of industry. 
and um, putting 30,000 people out of, out of jobs. Over the next few months, the BPA will determine whether or not to shut down Kaiser. I'm Greg Heister, Q6 Local News. First with news, weather, and sports for the entire inland Northwest. This is KAYU-TV Fox 28 News. First at 10. The governor also talked with Kaiser workers today who are unhappy with the Bonneville Power Administration's request to shut down local smelters for two years. The BPA says that the move would help save power during the energy crisis. But the protesters say it might cost them their jobs. We're definitely a large user of electric power. Uh, what BPA has done is focused on the aluminum industry and has said we want you to take the brunt of the, uh, of the reduction because of their overbooking of, uh, of uh, power. It's just not right. Workers say more than 30,000 jobs are at risk if that BPA plan goes through.